In a bid to foster grassroots development, members of the state legislature, as part of their oversight functions, continued their tour of local government areas in Akwaibom State to witness projects undertaken by various transition chairmen. The House visited the council headquarters of Umbo local government area, where the chairman, Honorable Sunday Etam, said his administration has invested into the social welfare of indigents. I engage the youth across the world, political world, both the Atisek and uh, Ine world. I engage 50 youth, 50 youth as my true to come, and they take home 30,000 30, every month. I engage five political advisors, elderly people, I pick one, one per each community, because five community make Google local government. Udongoka local government area was the next point of call as the chairman, Honorable Godwin Oponong, said he has invested a lot of resources towards restoring electricity to the community as well as agricultural projects in line with their rise agenda. The way we had today, for quite some time there was no light in this local government secretariat. But when we came, we, we decided to, as a matter of urgency, make sure there is light in this place so that we can always type who can come here, sit comfortably, and work in a serene environment. Today, you can also see that we have a farm out there, that farmers are in there planting, not just for the local governments, but for the people of Udo local governments. Thereafter, the team journeyed to Oron local government headquarters as the chairman, Honorable Murphy Essen, spoke about renovation of structures at the council secretariat. The second time when I came into this council, there was no water in this council for years. And they, in this council, they were using rubber to flush toilet as a local government chairman. I was so ashamed. I said, I cannot stand this. I decided to put zinc, a bowl with solar water, which we have seen, just in there. It's there outside. And I decided to link up, link all the water to all the premises of the council. Rounding up the day, the team visited the roof on Uruku with committee members frowning at the state of facilities in the council, while the chairman, Honorable Tokubok Okboyu, apologized for the lapses, adding that her administration has invested mainly into agriculture. This transition committee is currently in talks with AU4 village in AU law, Urefo Oroko, to acquire 40 hectares of land, primarily for cassava cultivation. The team has so far visited 23 local government areas, remaining eight local government areas to complete the tour. David Isong, ADBN News.